Wolfgang Joop's artworks, delicate lines in pencil, and vividly colored surfaces in acrylic. The fashion designer produced these pieces between 1973 and 2007. 20 of them are now on show in Berlin at the Hackescher Höfe in the Lumas Gallery. Wolfgang Joop never originally intended to show them to the public. It really touched me to see this here. It was just being stored in a closet. I hadn't ever planned on showing it. It was a personal remembrance. This, for example, my dog, Wolfie, with this angelic, arrogant creature. The early illustrations from the 1970s reflect the fashion trends of the time. Here, the French fashion designer Yves Saint Laurent in safari look. Inspired by artists like Austrian Egon Schiele, his pictures gradually grew to become works of art in themselves. My later works are more uninhibited. This series is almost impressionistic. They were sketched very quickly with a fat pencil or crayon, so I wouldn't get lost in details. A long time ago, I used to try and hang on to details. Thanks to his perfectionism, Wolfgang Joop has become one of Germany's most successful designers. In 1981, he founded the label Joop, which he sold in 2003. Throughout, he also wrote books and in 2003 established the label Wunderkind. Wolfgang Joop has returned to his birthplace Potsdam near Berlin. Fashion has remained his main business, but art and fashion have often crossed over in his career. A few months ago, the Kunsthalle Rostock dedicated a solo art exhibition to him, showing one of his fashion collections. Here in Berlin, Joop is also treated as an artist. None of the originals are on show. These 20 exhibits are photo reproductions, produced in limited edition, and all signed by Joop. They're priced between 500 and 1,300 euros each, and are selling fast. I've known Mr. Joop's work for a few years now. So I'm so surprised. I've decided I have room in my apartment for this picture, and it fits perfectly. I really like this black beauty. I saw it recently at another exhibition, and I think it's wonderful. The prices are great too, really reasonable, and it's a yolk. The exhibition is a big hit. On the first day, more than 350 pieces were sold. Joop's debut on the art market has been a success. I was ready to take a new step, but I wasn't sure if I'd be making myself look ridiculous. But the curators and new collectors explain there's a new generation of artists, not those who become famous through the history of art and through reference to another epoch, but those who become famous because of who they are, because of their glamour factor. Painter and fashion designer. For Wolfgang Joop, the two now go together.